I have aspirations to continue to grow, continue to get bigger. I don't want to lose my symmetry. I want to stay as aesthetic as possible, you know, kind of replicate the golden era of bodybuilding. You know, Arnold, Frank Zane, all those classic guys. A bad day for me would be, I guess when I'm not pursuing what I know I should be pursuing. You know, we all get distracted by things that are sometimes out of our control. Hey, what's going on guys? Joseph, this is my garage gym. I built this gym in the midst of the pandemic of 2020. Uh, I built it primarily because I wanted a spot where I could still train and I could let, get all my endorphins flowing and do what I love to do, you know, without the restrictions that were placed on us. Uh, I decided I wanted to be a personal trainer as well. I got certified with NASM. And uh, if you're interested, be sure to slide my DMs and we'll get you going. So why did I get into training? Uh, I got into training when I was about probably 16. Wow. And so that's what I decided to do at a young age, is get into lifting weights. And I knew there wasn't gonna be instant gratification. That's the beautiful thing about lifting weights is it's not instant. It's something you gotta have faith in and you gotta put the work in. There's no shortcuts. There's no 30 minute workout to get instant abs. Like y'all all know the spiel. It's something I fell in love with and it's something I continue to do, continue to do it until I no longer can. The gym is my outlet and my form of expression. It's a never ending art. And I just posted this on my recent Instagram post, but if, if you were to stop, right? So I said bodybuilding is art. If you were to stop, you're just basically throwing away the canvas, you know? So that's why I say it's a never ending art. Committed to it day in and day out. You're passionate about it. And you've given yourself an adequate amount of time to grow. You know, why not see where you could take it? You know, so that's kind of where I'm at personally. Can't speak for everyone, but yeah, we'll see where, see where we go. I have, I wouldn't call it a fear, but more of a, I guess a distaste for being average. Cause growing up in school, I was that average Joe and I was very sheltered, very protected, I guess you could say. How do you push through those bad days? Uh, I think of, I just think of all my blessings that God has given me, you know? And uh, now what do I feel when I'm lifting weights? Uh, just the weights. But nothing else in the world matters in that moment, except what you're doing. A good day for me is knowing that I made money. Uh, I had a good workout session. My girlfriend's happy, we're both happy. I'm on the right path with my Lord and Savior. You know, that's a good day for me. Basketball TikToks or you don't make any TikToks? I do his Instagram for him. Oh really? Go ahead and flex for me. There you go. 